Hey folks, welcome back to Skyward Sword. We're here in the sky, and we are heading off to the second area of the game, the Elden Province, as indicated by that giant red uh, pillar of light there. And if you're familiar with the Zelda series, you can probably guess uh, what we're going to see. And even if you aren't, if you, like, looked at the map, uh, you can probably guess what we're going to, uh, going to find in this location. But nonetheless, it's a pretty cool area. I like it. Uh, I like most of this game, though, so take that as you will. And let's head down. Yes, sir, Bob, we got a volcano area. The Elden Volcano. Um... This is the first time in the series it's referred to as the Elden Volcano, but you probably know it as Death Mountain. Yeah, Death Mountain is uh, basically the mainstay of the Zelda series. It has been in Hyrule every single goddamn time, ever since the original Legend of Zelda. Uh, because original Legend of Zelda, Ganon had his hideout in Death Mountain, and it has since appeared in basically every time in, in, in every Hyrule. And it's basically a pretty cool place. So I'm, I'm going to refer to it as Death Mountain because seriously that's what it is. And it's totally not Mount Doom. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, uh, this area, the Elden area, is a good deal, I would say, less... It doesn't really hide as much uh, that it's pretty linear uh, compared to, say, the forest, which was pretty linear, but hit it. This is basically a winding path that is linear, and you can tell when you're playing it. Especially since the path is basically uh, designated for you uh, based on what is not lava. Also, introducing the magmas. This is another new race for the game. Normally the Gorons are the ones who are living here, but it's the Magmas this time, who again do not appear in any other game. Yo! Yo. Magmas weird me out a little bit. I, I have... I'm, I'm a little put on edge by things with really long limbs. Just, you know, they're vaguely humanoid, but rather than being portly gentlemen like Gorons, they're like crazy wire people. I don't know. I get off me. Anyway, we got new kinds of gels here. Um, these things are, are red. I don't know if they actually have any other capability. Maybe they burn your shield if it's made of wood. Uh, but basically everything burns your shield here. So seriously, if you didn't pick up an actual shield, yeah, you suck. A okay, little bit of, of lava, uh, lava level action here. A lot like a water level thing, but it's lava. Now Link is not very resilient when it comes to lava. Basically, uh, if he touches it, he will it will burn his bum, and you will be teleported back to the nearest safe area. Not always how lava works in in Zelda games. Sometimes you get constantly damaged. Here, they really did not want you to, like, sequence break by running across large expanses of lava. Anyway, as you can see, there is a, a decent settlement going on here. Most likely the Magma Settlement. Possibly uh, by those Bakoblins, though. Those red creeps that he's referring to. This guy's hair. What is up with this guy's hair? He's like a 90s poet or something. Or actually a 2011 poet, because 90s is retro by now. Anyway, introduction to bomb flowers. Um, bomb flowers are actually sort of pulled from Ocarina of Time. Uh, the idea is the same, the execution is different, but basically in Ocarina of Time, uh, originally, you didn't have your own bomb supply. You would have to pick bomb flowers, which would then have a, a short timer for you to place them where you want them to go. 
Here it is very similar, but they actually do have an extended usage once you have bombs proper. Plus, there are a variety of different ways to, uh, to get rid of the bombs. You can throw them, lob them as you would normally. You can place them again as you might normally, but you can also roll them, uh, which will allow them to cover great horizontal distances, so long as there isn't too much of a hill. So as you can see here, that's rolling. And rolling is one of those instances where I do think the motion controls kind of fall short. Uh, because if you're just sitting, it's rather awkward to put your uh, your Wiimote totally, like, vertically down. It's just, you, your arm doesn't really have a very comfortable position compared to going straight up. Oh, hello. Yeah, um, giant, giant, uh, gel monsters. The best way to take care of them is doing this. Yeah. You can also just slash at them and they'll break apart into uh, smaller increments. But bombs are a much more efficient method, and you have plenty of them, so... By the way, you can dash while crawling, believe it or not. It took me a while to figure that out. So, now that we've thoroughly exhausted all the bomb bolt options in here, let's head down. And what do we have? We have fire keys. If I mention that I hate keys, because I'm not fond of keys. I'm, I'm really not fond of them. Also, they can set you on fire if they are on fire. I don't know if they, like, evolved asbestos skin or something. I'm, I'm not sure how they can survive while caught on fire. It's not organic, because they light themselves on fire using external resources. That's how it works. I, I'm, not, I'm not really sure. I, I would understand heat resistance living in a volcano. But, like, just fire? Being able to set yourself on fire? This is... I don't know. I'm, I'm not a biologist, but I don't know. And there, we got our final destination. But we need a way to get in there. There's a good amount of lava in our way, and lava is none too conducive to our progress. Also blackish, that's... Unless Zelda got a new outfit, uh, which I'm not really sure where she would get one. Uh, that may not be Zelda, but uh, the dowsing says it's Zelda, so okay, let's go for it. That is a fire anglerfish seal who makes monkey noises. What the... I don't even know. Anyway, they like to hide in, in holes like that. And again, the best way to take care of them is to blow them up. Oh, nothing. Nothing for my trouble. And here we got finally Bakablins. Yeah, screw you. And here we got some with giant clubs. Um, I'm not, I, I'm not really sure how much of a difference it makes. Like, logically, I want to say they'd be slower but more powerful, but you really take care of them in the same way, and you probably shouldn't be getting hit. Anyway, you see these enemies down here? You got more of the fire seal angler fish, uh, hidden in, in these, like, skulls or rock formations, or I don't even know. Um, but basically, you lob a bomb into the various holes in order to take them out from the inside. I think it's a really clever uh, way to take out enemies in a uh, more imaginative fashion, rather than just slashing things. Anyway, our eventual goal will be a little horizontal thing, but as you saw, uh, there was a heart piece that is relevant to our interests. So, we can head over there. Little optional side path, not too big a deal. Also a seat. Get back that one heart. Very important. I mean, in hero mode, it is actually pretty important to do that, because you might die. Uh, anyway, expanding the opportunities uh, given to us by that form of enemy, um, now there are ones that you have to roll your bomb into there, rather than uh, lob. 
And you can tell based on the uh, the shell they're using. They're based on hermit crabs, I guess. But not like any hermit crab I've ever seen. And now you see that rupee over uh, over in the thing. That means Mr. Bug is coming out, out to play. Because I need that rupee. I need it. Again, you have no idea how fun that is. Alright, so back to the path, uh, path proper. You may have noticed, I'm not sure if the camera really showed it, um, but there's this kind of wobbly bridge over here. And we want to be able to bomb this thing, uh, this lava plug of sorts, uh, so that the lava will all sploosh out and drain out that area next to our final destination. And because this is Zelda, that means that it will help us. <laughs> Curse you. And yeah, so this is spelling out the puzzle. I, I really feel like this entire thing was unnecessary for explanation, because it's very clearly a unique thing that should be interacted with. But oh well. Uh, anyway, you can't run over uh, the bridge uh, w while holding a bomb, because you move more uh, more slowly while holding a bomb. So you have to roll it. And that means you'll have to get a good angle at it. Uh, it might take a few tries. And then, head on over here, and you saw there were some air vents. And, uh, yeah, that, that would be the way looping back to the beginning area, but we don't have the bombs to open it up. Anyway, vents up here, and now get ready for some freestyle falling. Down we go. So there are a variety of prizes on the way down here. You see there's that chest that I'm just ignoring, because uh, that's just a crafting item that I have plenty of, and you will get plenty of in this area. And then there's this goddess cube. Now, hypothetically, it's possible to get both, but I'm not so good at falling, so I'd rather just go for the goddess cube. Now, all the way down here. And we're in a more of a, a crater kind of area. Or at least... I, I, I'm not a volcanoologist. I, uh, I don't know what this would be called. I feel like there should be a scientific term for an area that's been carved out uh, by lava and certain parts have been eroded, but the more heat-resistant rock is still there. Maybe a geode of sorts? I don't know. I mean, geodes are usually on a smaller scale, but if you've ever seen the core, you know that they can be on a larger scale. Anyway, that's a vent going back up to the main area if you feel like you want to go back to Skyloft at this point for some reason. Or it's possible that this place is just a mining area, because there is very clearly established structures here. Fine, be passive-aggressive. Anyway, you got this uh, swarm of enemies here. But the thing is, if you go after the ones that immediately attack you, uh, there will be no end to it, because this dude over here is hiding and he's summoning more enemies. You'll want to take care of him first, so that uh, no more of them come and wreck your shit. And then you can come deal with the rest of them. You see how cool that was? I was so close to getting all of them, but that one jerk just had to get out of the way. What a terrible person. But yeah, upgraded Skyward Strike, very, very useful for hero mode. I highly recommend it. Use it, I swear to god. So yeah, I, I kind of like the, the characterizations of the Magmas. They're, they're basically like a band of, of thieves of sorts, who have this internal code of honor, and also digging mitts, which are awesome. 
But like, they're, they're cool dudes. They have their own little tribe and they look out for their, each other. But they're very not very trusting of strangers. But they're not pansies like the Kikwis are. Anyway, the uh, digging mitts allow you to interact with uh, these little piles. You saw one of those way back in the Skyview Temple, which uh, may perplex some of you. And basically, digging will give you access to rupees, mining, or, or crafting materials, rather. And if you're playing on normal mode, uh, you'll get hearts as well. But alas, because this is hero mode, hearts do not appear. And also, it is uh, sometimes required in order to activate an air vent. So you want to make sure you're interacting with all of the environment. You know, it makes no difference. Anyway, you got three options here um, of where to slide down. But uh, for that, let's, let's scare the shit out of this guy. Yeah. I'll cower before Mr. Dog. Okay, so. Like I was saying, if I'm, if I'm going to stop raiding their houses and stuff. Probably hearts in there in normal mode, whatever. But like I was saying, there are three paths there, uh, e each of them are slides, and depending on which one you go down, you will get to a different ending area of that same room that we were in before, but only one of them has a prize. So you can either uh, do it the long way and slide down each of them and hope that you get the prize, or you can employ some fancy tactics in the form of Mr. Buck. This is what I mean by Mr. Bug is great at reconnaissance and scouting. Uh, he can go down paths like this and see what's on the other end and maybe see what you need to do to get there. Definitely very useful in the dungeon over here. Uh, so anyway, didn't do a great job showing that, but as you can see there's a chest uh, down that middle path. And then Mr. Bug can also go over here and we'll see that is an eventual place that we will want to go. Slides are pretty fun. And this is Elden Ore. You will find a lot of this uh, all around the Elden Volcano. And, uh, yeah, a lot of it. And you may have noticed that I have a ton of materials already. Uh, that's actually one thing of Hero Mode that I neglected to mention. Uh, is that you carry over all your crafting materials uh, from your first playthrough. Look at all these rupees! It is ridiculous. This is like, that's what, 50 right there? That is redonkulous to a greater extreme than you have ever seen. Anyway, nice little bit of, uh, of playing around there just to find some extra goodies. Again, you can just storm on through if you're a loser. Watch me. And uh, much like Shinies in in uh, Spectrobe's Origins, for those of you who watched that, I am very OCD about getting all the dig spots. It's it's hopefully it won't waste too much time, but I need it all. Anyway, neat little maze here. Uh, certain areas are blocked off by dudes breathing fire, but. If you're crafty, you can use these bomb flowers in order to bomb the, uh, the enemies and make your way. And you can see, like, when I'm readjusting, like, the bomb there, that's me trying to, uh, to do a roll and not it's not really registering. And I fully admit that it doesn't really work as well as I would like. Anyway, that was a little crafty. Kind of reminds me of uh, certain puzzles in Fire Temple of Ocarina of Time, uh, and also like the the Butler race of Majora's Mask, where there would be fire uh, creating maze, but you couldn't see the borders uh, until you came up to them. So it was a little uh, dangerous, precarious. Get all the things. So many rupees. But never enough. Just be glad I'm not like this with grass, because you would be here forever if I was like this with grass. Uh, but anyway, that takes care of our first little section of the Elden Volcano, and I will see you guys next time for the rest.